to the ER. Um, because, okay. you know, we don't, we can't, you know, we have much to work it up with okay. here. So, um, we can at least do that. You know? Okay. Now, do you, um, you have, is, is hypothyroid? You so, I typically it? go from hypo to hyper, depending on my levels. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm at hyper. Okay. And yeah. that, do they think it's because of the medicine or because of it? So the the guy who the not the guy but the primary care doctor who called today was saying that it's a possibility that because the dosages have been have been being changed so many times mm -hmm. that there could be a reason why I'm having like all of these different symptoms. Mm -hmm. Um, so, but right now he did say I'm hyper mm -hmm. and he was like, if you feel like your shortness of breath or mm -hmm. you're sweating or whatever, he was like, just go and be seen and make sure everything was okay. My, my issue is just, mm -hmm. not my issue. My concern is just that my heart is okay. You know what I mean? I don't want it to be feeling like it's overworking itself. And then, you know what I mean? I'm only 36. Yeah. So I want to make sure that my mm -hmm. heart is okay for the most part. Okay. Um, you know, just until I can actually see the primary care doctor. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Do you um what other symptoms do you have besides that, like heart racing and the um, um, skip beats? It be feeling like that sense of fatigue. It's like mm -hmm. I could wake up in the morning mm -hmm. um and just be feeling drained, mm -hmm. you know? And then like that sense of worthiness and I know they all coincide with one another with mm -hmm. the anxiety mm -hmm. and then I'll have like the panic attacks. Mm -hmm. Sometimes my right eye will like twitch a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then like sometimes if I'm sitting down with my eyes closed, I'll have like a moment of dizziness. Mm -hmm. And then like that slight headache on the right side. Do you take anything else other than the Synthroid or that's the only thing? Mm -mm, just the Synthroid. Um, and like I said, it's right now it's 112 MCG. So. Do you um, have a history of anxiety or panic attacks or just with this thyroid thing? Um, I do have a history of anxiety. Like I said, I work a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm a single mom mm -hmm. with two kids. Yeah. So that's just anxiety in mm -hmm. itself or whatever. But I refuse to take any meds. Mm -hmm. Like I've just learned to cope. Mm -hmm. with it um like i said i've taught myself some coping skills mm -hmm. with dealing with it um that's it okay yeah and nothing else is different and your diet nothing else you know, you're not doing a lot of caffeine or energy drink yeah no so. um just gatorade mm -hmm. just for that rehydration um nope the coffee i can't even do like mm -hmm. it's too much mm -hmm. and i'm also learning that there might be caffeine and tea too because like i'll have a small cup of mint tea and then mm -hmm. I'll have like a little sense of um anxiety drinking it too so and I'm thinking like tea mm -hmm. soothes you or calms you and I'll just go get like a quick cup of it at Dunkin Donuts and then all of a sudden yeah. I'm feeling a little bit more anxious than I was before I started drinking it so I don't even drink that no more like it's strictly okay. just like water and Gatorade yeah I'm not really a soda person so Okay. And um and outside of that, nothing else. You know, diet. Mm -hmm. okay. No. All right. All right. So let me um and I mean the urine look fine. Are you are you menstruating right now? Yeah. Okay. So there was a button. Yeah, that's for your head. Yeah. All right. So let me get.